What's up, y'all? Night's Edge here again, <clears throat> doing a uh, another quick little review for you. Uh, before I get into it, that is my channel information, channel you're watching right now, uh, at the underscore Night's underscore Edge YouTube. Uh, like the video if you like it. Subscribe to the channel if you like content. Um, if you want more knife content, it's free to subscribe. Um, I kind of wish YouTube would change... Uh, would change subscribe to follow or you know something uh friend or anything other than subscribe because that kind of makes it sound like uh it costs money to you know just get notifications pretty much from the channel oh, also you can hit the notification bell down there too to pop up whenever i put a new video out on your phone or whatever um but subscribing is uh Good way to get more content from me, and uh, I do try to put out regular content, if not every day, at least like every other day or something like that. But I try to do every, you know enough to work to do every day, depending on work and you know whatever else I got going on. Um, also on the Instagram, TikTok, and uh, my email, all that information is down in the description on the bottom. Um, really appreciate everybody that's watched the channel, that subscribed already, that. Uh, has helped me out along the way means a lot and uh really am looking into doing uh kind of like a little giveaway here soon because i did reach um uh, push past 500 last weekend and uh really uh really the channel's growing a, a little bit quicker than i thought it would so um definitely looking into doing that guys and also a, a live too you know i know i haven't done a live yet so kind of looking into doing that too kind of seeing how i'm gonna go about it and when i'm gonna do it and you know um don't want to do it during somebody else's time slot you know because then uh that'll kind of take away from everybody else that's able to watch you know um so anyway um <clears throat> that's all the information and i uh, really appreciate everybody that has subscribed to the channel that helps out more than anything subscribing liking and watching the videos so anyway get that out the way all right, this is this was actually a giveaway gift to me before I put it up by Bluminati Ninja. So Bluminati Ninja, if you guys don't know, that's his that's his uh, logo right there. It's uh, at Bluminati Ninja on uh, on YouTube. He's got a pretty good YouTube channel. He uh, did a giveaway a while back, and I won this kind of um, in a giveaway. And this and uh, a bunch of stickers and a couple of other things. Uh, got a Leatherman over there too. I'm going to kind of do a review on. But uh, this is the one I want to do today. This is, I've uh, been meaning to get around to it too. That was a, a while back. But this is a Rough Rider Knives. Um, they're an American based uh, knife uh, company. They do Chinese, most of their stuff or all their stuff, if I'm not mistaken, is out of China. And uh, their big thing is, you know, cheaper knives. Like they, they do a lot of uh, budget knives, a lot of a uh, lot of cheaper knives, and not necessarily bad knives either. And uh, I'll go over that in this video. Um, so before I get into it, go ahead. And, oh, this is the um, the Rough Rider Night Out. Now I tried to find this thing on their website. I was more successful finding it on Amazon.com. So that's the link that's going to be in the description. But um, let me see if I can get it pulled up here. Yeah, Rough Rider, Rough Rider Night Out uh, folding knife. But uh, that link's going to be down in the down in the description below. Um, actually, Smoky Mountain Knife Works has it. So uh, anyway. Just to let you guys know what the model is. Not like you can't read the title or already read it. But uh, uh, here's a little close-up of it. Aluminum handles, really nice. Um, the, it feels, it actually doesn't feel too bad, you know. Mystery steel on there it just says stainless steel on the website. So it's probably, you know, low, uh, probably like a surgical stainless, Chinese stainless steel, you know, something like that. Um i have carried a little bit did a little bit of cutting with it not too much i mean the egg the edge is still in pretty good shape satin right there as you can see from my fingerprint that you know came up won't go away once you uh once you touch it 
unless you wipe it off it'll definitely show fingerprints nice little red uh, pivot collar there anodized blue aluminum uh, on the handle so anyway before I get too much into the overall aspects of the knife I'm gonna go ahead and do all the specifications and uh, dimensions and stuff so we got an overall on it it's sitting right at right at seven and seven eighths overall if you go from the tip all the way to the end of the handle the uh, cut the blade length is right at three and five eighths if you go from the tip all the way down here to where it meets the handle and the cutting edge itself looking at the cutting edge you're sitting right at three and a quarter just a hair over three and a quarter almost three and three eighths on the cutting edge get the calibers out here make sure they're zeroed out thickest part of the spine 107 thousandths 104 103 107 thousandths was the thickest measurement I got. And 18 thousandths, 24 thousandths, 23 and a half thousandths behind the edge, 18 and a half thousandths. So not, not incredibly thick at all, really. Um, <clears throat> a little slicer. Uh, a little over half an inch. The handle is a little bit bulkier than what you would expect from this particular thickness of uh, blade. It's not, it's not cumbersome or anything. I mean, it's not. Uh, it's comfortable. You know, it's not cumbersome. It's not. Uh, it's not too too thick or anything like that. It's just a little bit thicker when you first grab it and flick the blade out than what you know you would be expecting. So, go ahead and do size comparisons on it. I'm going to set it right to where the light's not shining in y'all's eyes, um, which it will be anyway, I guess, whenever I take out the satin paramilitary 2. Do pivot to pivot on that. Pair of 3. All right, so overall, more along the size of the paramilitary 2. And overall length, especially in the pair of three, definitely more cutting edge in the pair of three. And uh, a hair more cutting edge in the pair of military too. So pretty good uh, blade to handle actually on this little guy or blade to overall, I should say. And it's got a nice little sharpening tool there. Cold steel, 8010, big hunking, bulky, overbuilt knife. Demco 8020.5. So doing pivot to pivot, kind of line up the pivots there, I guess. You can kind of see the differences better. Uh, overall, the 8010 is longer and definitely more thicker and bulkier. 8020.5, a little bit smaller. And that is the Doug Ritter, Ritter Hogue RSK MK1. That's the Hogue Deca. So more along the size of the Hogue Deca. Um, just a hair more cutting edge than the Hogue Deca looks like. And I believe the RSK MK1's got it beat. Yeah, the MK1's got it beat and uh, cutting edge. And a little bit in overall length too. Put those up. Get the... Uh, Get the scale out here. So turn it on. All right. Three point eight ounces. Not bad. Uh, a little over the ounce to inch ratio. Three point eight, but not uh, not really noticeable that much. You know, it's still under a four ounce knife, which is a good thing. And put that up. I don't know why the light's acting crazy today. 
All right, so let's see, you get the blue jeans out. It's not a deep carry clip. Not a terribly bad pocket clip, you know. Um, still has a little bit sticking out right there, you know. That's a little bit grabby. That could, I think, kind of been could have been pushed down, you know, a little bit or something. I mean, I'm sure you can adjust it with channel locks, you know, bend it, take it off, whatever. You know, you can do whatever you want really with it. But um, that's how it sits in the pocket, you know, out the box anyway without any adjustments to it. Not a deep carry clip at all. Um, still got a little bit sticking out of the, let's see, how much is that? Looking at, right, about three quarters of an inch or so, looks like, give or take, sticking out of the pocket. And uh, it is also mounted where you can, you can take this tab out and you can take the clip and put it on that side. That's a good thing. You know, a lot of knives don't have that. A lot of them way more expensive knives. And we'll get to the cost here in just a second. Let me do the hardware check first. And the T8. I think it's the T8, right? Show you guys and make sure. Yeah, T8. All right, pivot. Pivot, I think, is a T8. But I'm going to try the T10. No, it's a T8. So the pivot, T8, captive pivot. So that's a good thing, all right? Um, all the other hardware is T6, almost positive. Yeah, T6, T6, body screws, T6. You got two body screws and uh, the little tab screw to take this tab out that's not too bad <clears throat> got a minimal hardware actually on this thing too that's another thing i didn't really think about but got a little lanyard hole right there that's that's not you know necessarily in the way of anything so that's good also um yeah t6 and t8 all the way on the uh on the hardware t8 on the pivot this thing's running on bearings it's one of my gripes about the knife, actually. One of my little complaints about it is the fact that it's so open. You know, like, look at how much space. Look at all that space that you got open right there. That's not, you know, I mean, a, a lot of knives, a lot of good knives have, you know, openness in the back. But uh, it just seems to me, seems to me like a lot of area open back there to where trash and lint and dirt and gunk and stuff can kind of get in there on that really super thick looking uh bearings too um brass housing for the bearings but i think the bearings are actually stainless uh the action on it's not really bad not really bad at all see right here i'm light switching it not really trying i can fail it let's see if i can fail it yeah, I can fail it if I just kind of slowly nudge on it. But with any effort at all, it comes open fairly easy. Uh, the fuller, also another little thing about it is you can't really open it with the fuller. I mean, you can, but you got you to gotta really dig in there and try to use the fuller for an opening. I might not even be able to do it again. I did it the other day. But uh, not really an option as far as the fuller goes. I like the color. It's really bright. Um, definitely if you are carrying this outside or something, you lose it. You know, it'll be a lot easier to find it with this super, uh, almost like a neon teal, you know. kind of sticks out. Not really a natural color, you know. Um, the blade shape is pretty cool. I uh, like the, it almost reminds me with the blade shape. Just the blade shape, nothing else, guys. Just the blade shape reminds me of the uh, Megaron Valona a little bit with the way that that fuller is, you know. But um, this is definitely a lot more thin profile of a blade than the Valona. It is, uh, it is really slicey. Now, how long? Let me get a piece of paper here. How long that sliciness will last? I don't know. You know, I mean, the, the steel's not even printed on the blade, so. 
you know, um, out the, well, that was my fault. I hung up on the, right. yeah, so, I mean, it'll slice out the box pretty good. And like I said, I have cut and opened some packages with it, um, cut a zip tie with it. I use it for little things here and there, you know, uh, not really, I haven't really carried or hard used it, um, an exceptional amount, but, um, I have used it to cut open a few things, cut open a couple packages, pop a zip tie, and it's, the edge is still in pretty decent shape, but like I said, that is just after a little bit of use, so, um, not really an exceptional, uh, steel at all i'm sure you know you get you get this thing going with cutting rope and rubber and stuff like that i'm sure it'll uh sure it'll dull up pretty quick but uh this was free out of bluminati ninjas giveaway so i'm not complaining it is in fact a pretty good knife um if you're buying it too because looking at it on smoky mountain knife works website uh, I, don't, I don't know if it's a sale or temporary or whatever, but right now this thing's $12.95. $12.95, you know? And uh, like I said, for, you know, aluminum handle knife that, that that's not that bad, something you could probably just throw in like, you, you know, console your truck just in case you need it or, you know, wherever, you know, um, not really that bad of a knife at all, especially, you know, looking at the price. I think I mentioned this when I was pulling the measurements, but it does have that uh, choil right there, which kind of helps out with sharpening. Um, it's not really a finger choil, you know, you can't, you cannot choke up on this thing, you'll end up cutting your hand. But uh, ergonomically, it feels pretty comfortable. Could I use jimp in here, you know, um, the handle scales are a little bit contoured, you know, which is surprising to me for such a cheap knife. Um, the little red pivot collar, I think, kind of adds a, a pretty cool aspect to it, you know. But overall, when you consider a twelve ninety five price tag, it's not a bad little knife, you know. Um, like I said, you might take it and cut five pieces of rope with it and it goes dull, you know. I'm not 100% sure about the, the edge retention of this mystery stainless steel. So that's a big thing, but... Uh, for twelve ninety five, you know, I mean, whatever it is, it, it, it's, it can't be that bad. You know, it, it has actually opened a couple of packages for me and, you know, use it to pop a zip tie. And so, I mean, it's not, <clears throat> not really bad for twelve ninety five at all, you know, for $30. Yeah. I mean, you, we could definitely launch a bunch of complaints about it for that, but, uh, for twelve ninety five, pretty good little knife, you know? Um, Rough Rider Knives Night Out is what this thing's called. And like I said, it'll be linked down in the description below. It'll be in the title of the video. Um, can't think of anything else to cover on. It's got a little bit of a backspacer here, here also. I don't know if I mentioned that. But as you can tell, that kind of helps a little bit. Uh, you know, keep lint and gunk from falling down in here. But this is super, just super open. That's it. If I had to pick one thing that I didn't like the most about the knife other than the steel, it would be, you know, the fact that this thing is just so open, you know, and anything can kind of get in there. But every complaint that I have about it, you know, I can just flash $12.95 in front of that complaint and it deletes it, right? So $12.95 is not bad at all. Good little knife for the price. Rough Riders, uh, light out. Lights out, I think. Let me make sure on that. Night out. Wow, I was way off. Rough Rider, night out. Yeah. Um, good little knife. Uh, also, you know, not bad in the pocket either when you got it in there. You know, even though it's not a deep carry. Kind of that aluminum makes it feel sleek in the pocket. It's not going to tear your jeans up or whatever. Anyway, um, that's about it. So... Rough Rider Night Out, uh, go subscribe to Bluminati Ninja if you guys haven't already, which I'm sure anybody that's on my channel is also probably on his. He has a lot of good, uh, a lot of good videos on YouTube. Great guy. 
and uh, thank him definitely for the knife and for the giveaway that he had. Um, like I said, I'm trying to get to that giveaway point. Um, got a couple of them, or at least one of them <clears throat> that I'm planning on putting in a giveaway. Went over 500 uh, a little bit ago last weekend with a little bit of a push from Metal Complex, um, which is definitely much appreciated. Shout out to him for helping out a much smaller content creator. Um, great knife, Rough Rider night out. And um, appreciate you guys watching. It means the world to me. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. It's free to subscribe. Like the video if you like it. Comment, whatever. I appreciate it, guys. And uh, I will see y'all on the next one.